or Raya, as we're looking at these two sexy ladies, or maybe a guy and a lady, I don't know, uh, we're gonna give you guys uh, the uh, specs and comparison. So uh, the phone, the George Robot 2 actually came out about a year after the first one. Uh, we're talking about October, end of October 2014, the first one came out. Same thing with this uh, new one, October 2015. As far as the body and dimensions, on the new one, 170.1 gram versus 169 grams on the uh, first one. Six ounces on the new one versus 5.96 ounces on the old one or the first one. A display AMOLED on the new one, Super AMOLED on the first one, 5.4 inches on the new one, 5.2 inches on the first one. A resolution same, 2K Quad HD display, however, on the uh, new one, there is less, less pixel density than the first one. Uh, 540 versus 65. So the first one had more pixel density. Now, as far as operating system, both have now Lollipop. The first one was upgraded to Lollipop. The new one will be upgraded soon to a Marshmallow, same thing with the uh, first one. A processor, here's a big difference. Uh, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon on both. However, on the first one, we have the 805 versus the 810. A quad core 1.5 gigahertz and a quad core 2 gigahertz versus a quad core 2.7 gigahertz on the first one. So quad core versus octa core. A micro SD card slot on the first one, there was no option, and the phone only offered a 32 or 64 gigabyte internal storage, 3 gig of RAM. On the new one, uh, it comes also in 32 and 64, 3 gig of RAM but it also supports micro SD card up to 200 gigabyte. That's huge. Uh, camera, rear camera, same megapixel, 21 megapixel rear camera on both. They both can record up to 4K, uh, but the front facing camera changed now to a five megapixel on the new phone with flash uh, versus two megapixel on the first one with no flash. Now, not only the uh, camera uh, change as far as the uh, megapixels, but also the aperture, and you're gonna you're gonna see that later on this uh, video. The aperture size on both front facing and rear camera on the new one it's wider than the first uh, Draw Turbo. Uh, last but not least, to mention the battery, uh, we're looking at a 3,760 milliamp battery on the new one versus 3,900 on the uh, first one. Uh, obviously, the first one gives you more time, more battery, but also takes longer to charge. And we're gonna see that later too. Now, as far as uh, opening things, as you guys can see, we're opening multiple things here. They pretty much open everything very quick about the same time. Uh, on the uh, clock widget, on the new one, you can customize and change the color. And you can also expand both widgets uh, to get access to a couple of other things, to access the battery information, access the calendar, things like that. Uh, but as far as like opening or closing things, for the most part, they both feel the same, uh, but definitely you're gonna feel the uh, better processor on the new one, especially when multitasking, uh, probably like playing heavy high graphic games and things like that. Overall daily activities, most likely you're not gonna be able to tell the difference but believe me, it's there. I mean, we're talking about an octa-core versus quad-core processor. But overall, they both work pretty good, open everything really quick. Now, as far as performance, again, uh, both phones offer the same Quad HD display. And actually, like I said on the uh, old one, or the first one, there's more pixel density than the new one. Uh, but the, you know that's really really hard to tell so for the most part graphic games as far as performance it's about the same you're not gonna notice a difference in performance uh, graphics colors and all that are also the same on both since they both get the uh, same uh, display quad HD obviously on the uh, new one you're gonna enjoy better uh, because of the uh, bigger screen, 5.4 versus 5.2 on the uh, first one. And as far as the speakers, they're both about the same. To be honest with you, they're not bad, but they are not great. Uh, the sound is just okay on both. There's only one speaker on both, even though on the new one it looks like it's two speakers, there is only one speaker. 
Now they both support the uh, HD video calling as you guys can see here. Uh, we're actually calling each other. And uh, these are Verizon wireless exclusive phones. Also the uh, video calling feature, as far as I'm concerned, Verizon was the first one that started this. Uh, some people with other carriers claim to be able to use it. Uh, I know for a fact, if you have Verizon, you can activate this feature and you can use it. Really, really cool feature. Uh, it works with your 4G uh, data. And as you guys can see, you can switch between front or rear cameras. Now here's a look at the uh, notifications and waving your hand over to save an, an, uh, a battery. Uh, swiping from one side to another gives you a preview and up and down opens uh, the notification and takes you to the notification. Now here's the uh, look at the uh, Moto Assist which is installed uh, on both phones. Uh, this is a really cool application from, from Motorola that lets you to uh, add your phrase you can do OK Draw Turbo, Hello Draw Turbo, whatever. And also you can uh, type in the phrase. As you can see right there, make sure that you don't forget the phrase. Uh, there are multiple things that you can do with the uh, Moto Assist. Uh, you can wave your hand to uh, activate the notifications on the screen. Uh, you can pretty much get like an assistant, like a personal assistant. Uh, this thing can read text messages, uh, tell you who's calling, that's just a few of the many things that you can do with the uh, Moto Assist. Uh, it does recognize uh, the voice uh, pretty quick, very accurate uh, with the results. And as you guys can see, we are testing right there, uh, opening multiple things on both phones at the same time. Uh, I set up the, uh, the phrase, the same phrase on both. And uh, yeah, they open things uh, very quick. So as far as like opening this, uh, recognizing the uh, Moto Assist and the voice and all that, both phones were the same. I cannot tell you that one was faster than the other one because they both were opening things uh, very, very quick, providing uh, very accurate results. And like I said, you know, the speakers are okay when you're listening to uh, results of things that you're looking for, uh, but they're not the best. Here's a look at navigation to Google Maps. Uh, both phones also look super nice. Uh, navigation Google Maps, especially in the satellite mode, it's gonna be a really nice experience uh, because of the uh, 2K Quad HD display on both. Now, uh, take a look at the uh, notifications also here on the uh, first one. The, uh, the first one also offers the uh, feature of the uh, notifications on the screen and waving your hand over the device to activate the notifications. And same thing here with the uh, new one. And as I said before, this is a really cool option because it saves a lot of battery. Now let's say uh, time to take a look at the uh, camera now. So here's the camera on the uh, first one. Uh, pretty much we get the same, exactly the same interface on both. As far as the mechanism and the functionality, the same. Uh, you tap on the screen to take pictures. You can move around the uh, uh, focus in order to refocus an area. On the first one, I noticed that it takes pictures, um, I guess, slower than the, than the new one. The new one takes pictures a little bit faster, not so much, but a little bit faster than the first one. But as far as the options, the same. It's a very limited, uh, very plain uh, settings and options uh, for the camera. Now, I do have to say that um, when it comes to the uh, front-facing camera, like I mentioned it before, the aperture size for the uh, front-facing and rear camera on the first one, it's not as wide as the new one. And we're gonna see that later, the two of them together. Uh, but on the uh, on the first one, you get flash for the front-facing camera, as you can see, and also five megapixel versus two megapixel on the first one. So as far as the pictures, the second one it's gonna it take better pictures. So, uh, keep in mind, guys, uh, that megapixels doesn't mean that the more megapixels, the better picture. No, it doesn't work like that. You know, there are so many things that matters uh, to make a camera a good camera. Uh, the sensor, the uh, aperture. Uh, the hardware 
I mean, so many different things. So, so just megapixels alone doesn't mean it's gonna be better. Even though they both have the same megapixel on the rear, I can tell you right now, the uh, new one takes better pictures and the aperture it's bigger or wider. So you're gonna get better experience taking pictures with the new one. And you also get the bonus of the flash. Now take a look at the uh, aperture size right there. As you can see, we can fit more on the uh, screen on the new one versus the first version and take a look at the phone there on the landscape mode as you can see we can fit more so that's the difference right there uh, in terms of the uh, aperture size for the uh, cameras on the new one uh, last but not least uh, here's a look at the uh, new one uh, charging from zero to 100 percent uh, i was able to hit 100 uh, percent in one hour and 24 minutes uh, that's actually faster uh, than the Note 5. I did a test with the Note 5. The Note 5 takes about one hour and 25 minutes, but it's a 3000 milliamp battery versus uh, 3760. So there you have it, guys, a Droid Turbo 2 and Droid Turbo.